again, um, my name is Nanu. I think I should introduce myself from now on, so I'm gonna do that. If this is your first time here, hello, if you are coming back, thank you so much. I really don't know why I do so many <laughs> weird, like, positions with my hands, but I think it's basically just an anxiety thing. So I wanted to do a favorites video. Someone had asked me this a while ago on Instagram, and I was like, I'll do that, and then I didn't do it for like the past three months, so I thought I'd do it. Um, Today I'm going to do anything that is an eyes aside eyeliner, aside from eyeliner. So if you want to see something that has to do with my palettes, my favorite palettes, I'm happy to share. I don't have that much, but I think I have enough that, and I've tried enough that I at least I know what I really like, the formulas I really like, and I'm also going to be kind of taking apart some of my favorite uh, palettes coming up soon because I'm getting some Z palettes, magnetic ones. So if you want to see that, I'd also love to film that. So I'm going to start from skin stuff first, not skincare. But I guess if you want to see my skincare, that's cool too. I have super, super, super dry skin. Like if I touch it too much, it just flakes off, like just, like just snowing from my face. So just know that these products are very much meant for me to look dewy and radiant. Matte is nowhere to be found in my life, so if you like matte things, you're probably not gonna like my skin stuff, but maybe you'll like my other stuff, but it's not skin stuff, you know? Okay, so first up is the Milk Hydro Grip Primer. Everyone talks about this thing. I'm 100% late to the party, but I got a giant sample in this, like, pack I bought and oh my god I love this stuff I'm already through half the bottle it makes me very sad and that will unfortunately be sc scrunching up my money and delivering it to milk makeup so that they give me a giant bottle of this that will hopefully last me more than what this has lasted me though to be fair I did buy this back in like March and I do my makeup rather often so I'd say this is pretty good next is the born to glow stuff from NYX um I don't know about the whole collection, I don't, I didn't try the primer or other stuff, but I did try the concealer and foundation and these are great. These are 10 out of freaking 10. I love these. Uh, this is great, not full coverage though. Like I'm not a full coverage person. You could probably tell like I'm wearing this. I did it in my last look, which hopefully is my last video. I'm hoping that I'm being consistent, that I did post that before this. Anyways. Um, this is great if you're going for a day that you're not really trying to do like a whole lot of everything. I normally just pat it into my under eyes and I'm out. And the foundation is just perfect. I'm wearing it on right now. It's already been on my skin for like an hour and a half. It lasts all day. I work in it, everything. I just, I love it. It's so, so, so nice. It's not slippery. You don't need to heavily set it. I barely set my face if I do at all. And I use cream products and bronzer and blush. And I use a lot of blush and it never moves. So next up is the Hydrating Camel Concealer in the Satin Finish. It is phenomenal. I tried the first one, the original Camel Concealer, a little too dry for me, obvi. So they came out with this hydrating one and it's it's just perfect, it's perfect. It is um, high coverage. I use very little of this. I've had the same thing since January and God knows this is gonna go bad before I'm done with it. It's perfect though, I love it. Next up is the, guess what, I look makeup, uh, Baked Matte Bronzer. It's perfect. It's just perfect. Again, it, it is the trial size. I did buy a trial size thing, but I will, again, give my money to Milk Makeup for this thing. Next up on face things is the BH Cosmetics uh, Brilliance Bronzer Satin Finish. There's a lot of satin in my collection, I'm realizing. I guess I just like satin. Um, in Bronze Babe. Bronze Babe. I did not finish that. Um, it's perfect. It will last me till I turn 42 and uh, it's beautiful. Have it on right now. It, it just looks great. I love it. Very pigmented though. Very, very, very pigmented. Do, do, do tread the waters lightly because it, 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 it packs a pun. So this is the Flesh Beauty uh, Boost Highlighter. Uh, it's perfect. I love it. It will also last me till I turn 42. Oh, actually, I do have an eyeshadow that I use as highlighter, which I forgot to just close that because in my last video, it was out for like half the video and I hate myself for it. Um, this is the Sugar Pill Ice Angel uh, Single Shadow. I love this. I am using this today as my highlighter. Last on the highlighters is the ColourPop Flexitarian Super Shock. Shh, I almost called it a chic, uh, a cheek, 
uh, highlighter. It's perfect. I love it. That's it. I say these in every single video I've made, which is four, five, but still. These are the Likely Makeup Lush Palettes, my Pride and Joy, my everything. I love these. God, how dare she make things like this? This is done by Jordi, by, um, like, it's Likely Makeup. This is her line. Likely Makeup. Just perfect. Um, I love both of these equally. Um, I use them for different reasons, but this is the Clown Blush Palette. And this is the fairy blush palette. I am using sunstone as I don't think you can see on screen, but this is very much dipped into. <laughs> I use it every day, basically. I heard she's gonna come out with singles. She better because if not, I will repurchase an entire new palette just to have this color because it's perfect. I also use contortion a lot, and I also use circus a lot. Um, it's perfect. Also, incredibly pigmented. Uh, do tread lightly. Uh, but I also like very pigmented things. Um, I love blush. It's my favorite thing that makeup has to offer. Sugar pill lashes! I have three. Well, I really have four. I don't know where she is. I have them pretty organized. I'm actually pretty sad, but they're perfect. Uh, so comfortable. Very cheap. Very good. Uh, if you take care of them, these probably last me like 17 uses, which is pretty impressive. I think they're like six to eight dollars a pop. Absolutely love them. These lullaby ones, they're in upside down. Um, that's probably disgusting. I've cleaned them, I promise, but they're perfect. I love them. And then the pair that I'm wearing on right now, guess what? Likely makeup. It's the Anxious Angel Lashes that I was holding upside down. They're perfect. The packaging is perfect. It is magnetic. I love them. I love everything she has to offer. I would love to get new lashes. They're a little bit more expensive, absolutely worth it. Do not get me wrong, but just I can't afford it right now. But I would if I could, and I will at some point. This is the BH Cosmetics. Oh my god, I forgot what it was. There we go. <laughs> BH Cosmetics Brow Duo and Charcoal. Um, you know, I never thought I would be a brow powder person. And then, please ignore my brows today. They look terrible. Like, I promise I'm not this terrible at brows, but this stuff slaps. It's great. Um, stays on all day. It isn't like overly powdery. There isn't like kickback of product, let alone is there like anything bad about it. I absolutely love it. Um, yeah. And then also the BH Cosmetics HD Brow Pencil in Ebony. Amazing. Glides on like butter. It's amazing. It's just, it's beautiful. I love it. It's such, it's just so good. Um, and then we have the Lime Crime Bushy Brow Position Pen in Smoky. Uh, this makes me look like I have brows when I don't. That's all I can say. It's perfect. Uh, I have very, very, very sparse brows since I was very young and uh, it makes me look like I don't. And I thank it every single day that I put it on. As I put it on, I just go, thank you. And then I go on about my day. That's that. Uh, I guess this can be next because it's the only one in its class. Uh, this is the Lime Crime Freckle Pen in Cocoa. Perfect, just perfect. I have it on today. Um, previously, I had done a video about Freck. I do like Freck very much so, but I don't like patting my skin a lot with my finger. I feel like it takes too long to dry. Moving on to eyeliners and mascara. Surprisingly, I have a mascara. Normally, I don't really care about mascara, but I have a mascara. And guess what? Haha! <laughs> it's milk makeup. This is the Milk Makeup Kush Mascara. I love it. I love it. I have her on today. She's so great. But uh, this is the Sufa Hydro Liner. It is the only one I have. But freaking, I want so many more. Just hydro liners in general. But this is phenomenal. I love it. It's really all I have to say. Very easy to use. Um, I love it. Lasts all day. Doesn't crease that much. It's perfect. I really, really love it. Um, I just like colorful eyeliner. They just, they just make me so happy. Okay, next up. That was really gross. I'm very sorry. Uh, next up is just two black eyeliners I have. This is the Wet n Wild Mega Liner and then my Epic Ink Liner from NYX. Um, perfect. They're great. Use them both today. Uh, use this one for precision lines and filling in for the most part. And then I use this one for very much going over like making sure everything's opaque if anything's missing and then like super super tiny strokes that i might need this one is really good for that together though the best team and together they're still not as expensive as a let's say 
benefit liner. So you know what? I'd rather have two that each have their purpose. Okay, lips, then we're done. I'm so sorry if this is just so uninteresting. I feel like this is not really interesting information, but maybe it'll be good for you. Uh, this is the Makeup Revolution. Um, guess what? Satin. What is it with me and satin? I really did not do this intentionally, but Satin Kiss Lip Liner in Ruby. The color doesn't matter. It's more just the one I grabbed, but these are great. So creamy, so nice, last all day, do not smudge. I think they're like five dollars. Uh, either Woma or Oma, I would love to know how to properly pronounce it. I really, I've loved these for so long. Honestly, I love a lot of their stuff. Um, I have multiple of these boss glosses and I've had them for a while, but this is the rose boss gloss. I'm actually wearing it today. It's perfect. It's like a mix between a gloss and a tint in a little bit, in a way, a little bit in a way. Just great, perfect. Um, on the gloss trend, we have the Pout Bomb Plumping Lip Gloss um, from Makeup Revolution. Uh, it's great. It's perfect. It's nice. This is juicy. Use it all the time. Um, next up is the Kaveen. You know what? I haven't been able to find this brand. I don't really know anything about it. I got it in a BoxyCharm box, but this is a Monroe. It is like very dry, but like the most perfect lip stain. And then you just put lip balm on top and then you call it a day and it's on there for all day. Um, next up, and I guess second to last, is the, this is such a long name, Power Matte Lip Pigment Get Up Stand Up by NARS. This is so weird. It's like an ink, but it's so pretty. I love it. This is my only NARS product I own because I think NARS is stupidly overpriced. But this is really worth it in my opinion. They're so great. Um, I just got it for free at work. I did not purchase it, but I love it. But then last but not least, um, we have the Lime Crime Velveteens. In my personal opinion, the best liquid lipsticks. I love them. Sugar pills are second, but these are first. These are so good. I have like four of these. This is the most like purchased lip product I probably have, like of the same kind. I love it. So that's that. I don't know, this is short and sweet, but cool. If you like any of these products also yourself, please let me know. If you have products you would recommend that I guess are satin, because apparently that's the only thing I own, let me know about your satin products. Products. Thank you. Uh, yeah, check out my Instagram if you feel like it, and uh, thanks for stopping by. Sorry if this is very short and sweet. Okay, bye.